Area agencies say it's time to address that so-called dead zone in the waters of Green Bay. Scientists recently discovered the issue, which is extremely low oxygen levels. But now there is a push to try to help those waters bounce back. Fox 11's Beth Jones explains. It seems the waters of Green Bay are changing. Scientists from UWGB and our organization have discovered a dead zone in Green Bay, which means there is very little oxygen, uh, not enough oxygen to support life. And that area that they've discovered is expanding in size. The dead zone stretches about eight miles northeast of the city and extends to the Sturgeon Bay area. The lowest oxygen levels, however, are found toward the mouth of the Fox River. Scientists say a leading cause is phosphorus runoff and other nutrients. Algae eats the phosphorus and dies, and the bacteria created from that sucks up the oxygen. Experts say some of the phosphorus comes from area rivers, such as the Oconto and the Menominee. However, they say the majority of the phosphorus, two-thirds to be exact, comes from the Fox River. Within the Fox River, most of it is coming from above Lake Winnebago, but a significant portion is flowing into the Fox River and then into Green Bay uh, from the watersheds. And now the Green Bay Metropolitan Sewage District, or New Water, along with the DNR, are trying to find the most cost-effective ways to address the culprit. We get our drinking water from Lake Michigan, and our economy is really linked closely to the water, so it's important that we clean this up. It's a push officials call adaptive management. Everybody working together, that means industry, that means agriculture, that means the wastewater treatment facilities, all collaboratively working together to try to solve that problem. Experts say it's still unclear how big of an effect the dead zone has had on fish. However, that is something they're looking into. Low oxygen levels definitely stress the ecosystem and uh, ultimately do stress the, the fish. In Green Bay, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.